Yo, L. Bro, I am so glad you made me look again at this. What was happening was that duct does connect directly from the outlet underneath the wheel well to the front. But what was happening with my flashlight is when I put it in there, it was actually just shining out of a crack in between a fitting. Um, it's really in three pieces, and I've gotten it partly disconnected down in this hole now. The piece that you see that's partially disconnected there connects to the air duct in the wheel well, and then that connects to the ducting in the front on the grill. And the light that I was shining with my mag light through the back of the wheel well, or I should say the front of the wheel well uh, on the back side right here, it was just shining through that crack in that middle piece. So that's all I was seeing, and it threw me off. But what I did was this center piece, this like uh, dark blue piece right here, can actually be removed. And what I did was I stuck a screwdriver in between the lip on the opening going into the wheel well and just pried just a little bit to get it up. And then there's, I don't know if I can get this down in there and show you, there's these clamps. And all you have to do is lift up on the clamp and basically pull this piece out right here. The center piece that connects that air duct to the wheel well, you can just pull that piece right out. And if you ever want to bring it back to stock, you just put it right back in. It, it clips down on this side um, right here. There's a clip that fastens on that side. And on this side, it just pulls out that way. And the piece pulls right out. And now what we've got is right below the air hole in the air box if you look back this way there's the air duct right here leading straight out into the grill and that now dumps out right below the box and if I swing this camera around 180 degrees you can see that it goes out the wheel well on that side so obviously you could either just leave that open to the wheel well so that air can pass straight through and you still get some air to the brakes but this way obviously when it comes in through the grill it can go up through the air box as well I think that's probably the way I'm gonna leave it um, for two reasons one the um, ducts are still lined up so that you can still get air coming out of the front grill and it'll go straight through to there and give you some air into the, the wheel well there onto the brake rotor and you'll also get it coming into the air box and not only that but with this open in the back you can get a little bit of air through this way too underneath the wheel well which should be relatively cool air too so that gives you two openings and probably if you get a decent amount of water through this duct it'll probably just spray through here uh, onto this panel and that drains out there's actually a, a drain hole uh, right there if I can get the it's hard to manipulate this camera down here uh, there's a drain hole right there so water coming in here would go out the drain hole right to the ground and any mist or anything would actually go straight through to the wheel so that shouldn't be any problem and I figure if any water spray comes up from the wheel and gets in here it shouldn't be a big issue either because it's just gonna go right out there's actually that drain hole right there and this panel right here is actually not flush it goes out to the ground there too so there's plenty of uh, ways for the water to drain out there so that's certainly a way to get uh, some direct cool air right underneath the filter. So hopefully this will get, get us a little bit further in our quest to get cooler air into that air box. Let me show you what I decided to do here uh, before I finish this thing up. That inlet coming through the wheel well there looks like if any spray, if you drive through any uh, puddles or you know you're you're going down the road pretty fast, it could splash water up in here, and I'm afraid that it could splash into the filter. So <clears throat> obviously we don't want that. We don't want to risk hydro lock. 
there's a little, um, I don't even know what to call it. This thing right here is a little plastic push pin and that lines up with this hole here on the bottom where this piece fits in. Now I've taken the, the piece that I took out and I've cut it with a hacksaw and <clears throat> Uh, I'll probably just order another one of these pieces here just to have it so I can go back to stock if I want. But this, when I place it down in here onto the duct like that, then that will keep any water that splashes up in there going this way toward the, the front. And anything coming out of the front will go this way into that piece. So the the air that's coming out of the the front duct here right there will get distributed around in the air well here below the box but now I don't have to worry about any water uh, getting splashed up this way from that small hole into the filter into this area here so I decided to do that the length that you cut there I don't know you have to just eyeball it and see what makes sense. Now it looks to me like <clears throat> there's about a you can see the front and the back duct there. There's probably about a six inch gap on one side and about a four and a half inch gap on the other side. So that should give enough room for some air to get into the air box and also feed the back. Okay there's the little uh, rubber push pin removed and uh, here it is right here. I pried it out from underneath, from the bottom. And I'll show you where that is underneath in just a second. All right, here's the setup. I've got a, the little bolt here, a lock washer, and a regular washer, and a piece of tape. And I'm gonna put this up through on the bottom here. And uh, I'll have to lay down on the floor first and then I'll continue the video. All right, excuse the angle here, because it's hard to film this while I'm doing it, but the, the hole is actually so close to the edge of the car right here, where my knuckle is, that you don't even need to have it on ramps. So what I'm going to do is take this nut right here and push it up through the hole and just temporarily tape it in place like that and I'll pull that off later now I can go up here and get up off the floor without falling in my own junk back there <laughs> and uh, there's there it is sticking through there now when I put this piece that I cut off here down in there I can put it over top of that hopefully not knocking it out in the process and then I can just uh, reach up through the back and the brake duct there and put the nut on. So we'll see how that works. This came out pretty nice. I got the uh, hacksawed piece in there so that any water that sprays in from the wheel well will be directed that way almost into the front duct that uh, is that far away. So air that's entering from the front will be blown around underneath the uh, air box and the water should be directed down below instead of splashing up top. And that little nut that I put in there, hopefully you'll be able to see this because I can't see what I'm doing while I'm filming this. But that, that little nut that I put in there worked fine. And if I can get down here, I can show you where it is. It's uh, right there. A screw on the bottom and a nut on the top should hold that in there pretty nicely. So now I'm just going to put everything back together because now I'm convinced that uh, water shouldn't damage anything. There's enough of a gap there between the two pieces that air can get in from either side really and any water should just either flow right through or drain out the bottom without splashing up into the filter.